Hey everybody, it's David here with another episode of The Daily D, and today's topic is journaling. So journaling is, is somewhat thought of as writing down your thoughts, you know, it could be like diary format, if you will. And that is something that has been done for ages, if you really think back to even when you were a teenager maybe, or maybe you knew some friends that would write down all their thoughts and their ideas within a book or a notebook of some sort. You know, having a journal is an important part of planning for success. You see, when you think about things that you really want, that's, that, that's really important. But once you really want them, you, you develop a faith in pursuing them. And the way you do that is through visualization, then writing down, then repeating and memorizing those things so that you can do them daily. And so I wanted to share with you exactly what it is to do a journal or what it looks like and hopefully give you some insight. Now, there is no perfect formula for journaling. Many people have different formulas, different questions, different ways or methods. I'm going to show you a quick, simple one that I use every day because when I started doing this many years ago now, I'm, I'm not going to tell you I do it every day because sometimes it does, you know, lapse my mind or I get busy, but I try my best to do it as often as possible. And, and I really do believe it should be done daily, but I'm going to give you some of what I do because I think it's pretty simple and I want you to get a simple method and then maybe you can evolve it, if you will, and make it your own and add some things, subtract some things, whatever you think. So, so first and foremost of getting yourself a nice notebook, that's important. You have to have a nice notebook. Um, it doesn't have to be anything expensive. I'll give you an example. This is the notebook that I use every day and I bought it at Walmart, I think for $10. And it's actually got no lines. If you can see that it has no lines. Now, I don't like lines. I like to be able to just kind of free write. So, so you may like lines, maybe you're an orderly person, but I like to free write so I can draw and I can add and I can put things on different areas because whenever I write outside of the lines on a regular one, it makes me feel like I did something wrong. So first and foremost, when I, when I did that is it, I'm actually, before I go on, when I did that, when I went to a journal without lines, just dots, man, did it change it changed a lot for me. It made me want to write. It made me feel more creative. It sparked another fire. And that's this is really recently that I discovered this. I used to write in just a traditional notebook. And, and I'll tell you, this, this going to dots has really changed for me. All right. So next, once you get your journal or your notebook, this is it. It's very simple. You don't have to have anything fancy. You just have to be able to use it. So now when you get in there, what you want to do is you want to start with every time you write in it, you write the date and the time. If you want to put the day of the week, you can do that, but I like to put date and time. So usually if it's today is the, today we're releasing this is on 8-20-2020. And then I put the time I wrote in it, let's say at 6.30 a.m. And then the first thing that I write is my goals or are my goals. The first thing I write. So I'm going to give you an example of some goals that maybe we could have, right? A uh, loss of weight, um, getting a new house, buying a new car, going on a vacation opening your own business. These are goals that some people have. Maybe you have some of them. I don't know what your goals are, but typically you want to write your goals down. If it's to lose 20 pounds or it's to um, buy your first home or your second home or your investment property, these are things you should write down. And once you write them down, I write them and I put a date next to every single one of them. So I write down what my goal is and I put by the date that I want to achieve it. So that gives me a little sense of urgency, if you will. And I try not to set up too far ahead. I do usually have one or two that are five year goals and one or two or three that are this year goals and then maybe one that's maybe a two or three year goal. I usually have three goals that are for the year or something and I usually tie them to either the end of the year, the 31st of December or my birthday. My birthday happens to be in November, but if my birthday was in May or June, I'd put it then too because I like to use my birthday as an age indicator so then that gives me some, hey, I wanted to do this before I was this age, you see? So once I write down those things, then I write down this most, one of my favorite questions. And then it really helps me to get more, I guess we'll call it engaged with my goals. But here's the question is, what will these goals make of me? And let me repeat that. What will these goals make of me? What will these goals make of me? Right? Now let me give you an example because this really touches me when I write it. It's, it will make me a disciplined person. It'll make me more confident. Right? If it's about making money, it'll make me. Uh, it'll make me a better provider for my family. It'll make me a healthier person for my wife. 
It'll let me give me a long lasting life of health. Right? It'll give me the ability to give back to my church. You see, these goals will make of me something, and I write them down. It'll make me confident. It'll make me feel good about myself. Write whatever. There's no format. There's no there's, there's no wrong answer here. It's yours anyways. Every I write when I write that, it just it, 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 it man, it, 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 I, I can't even explain how, how touching it gets for me when I write it down because then what I do is it makes me internalize exactly what I need to do. Then when I write that down, the next one I write is what am I willing to give up or in exchange for these goals? What am I willing to give up in exchange for these goals? Now, let me give you an example. I put sleep, time, money, friendships, vacations, right? Instant gratification, one of my favorite. These are things I'm willing to give up. I'm willing to give up things to be able to give or to have these things, right? I'm willing to give up family gatherings some days in order in the pursuit of my goals. Because if my goal calls for me to be somewhere or to hit the gym at that time or to make the phone calls at that time, then I need to do that instead of you know, sleeping or giving away my time. So whatever I'm willing to do in exchange, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Usually I write on one page. And then the last question is, what am I committed to doing today that will get me towards these goals? So for an example, if it's to lose weight, then I'd say I'm committed to tracking my intake of calories or carbs or food on an app of some sort, like MyFitnessPal, right? I'm committed to not drinking today. <laughs> I'm committed to analyzing my bank account today. Um, I'm committed to following up with somebody that I need to follow up with. I'm committed to writing out a plan. I'm committed. You see, I'm going to write one or two or three things that I'm committed today to do that'll make me get toward, or that'll force me rather, to get towards my goal, whatever those are. You see, if you don't write this stuff, if you don't, if you just think it and you don't ink it, it doesn't, it doesn't really become true or real. Now I do this every single day. I write these three questions and I write my goals. And then the last question that I ask myself, which could be or couldn't be, I usually read aloud these goals. And so do I put on there, did you read these goals aloud? Yes or no? And I write it and I say yes or no. And after I write all this, I actually read them. I read them out loud because I believe that it's going to get in here. It's called auto-suggestion. It makes my mind believe that I can be them because I want to be somebody, and I don't mean that in a powerful way. I mean, I want to be the man that I told myself I'm going to be. I want to envision that man. I want to be a good member of the community, a great husband, a father, uh, a community leader, a giver. I want to be an example to others. I want to contribute to the world. I want to be the best I can possibly be for the people that depend on me. I want to leave a legacy. You see those things? If I write those things as I'm going to be them, if I put that in there, what will these goals make of me? Those, that's what those goals will make of me. And once I put that down, guys, it makes everything so much more real. So here's your homework. Go get yourself a journal if you don't already have one. Write down your goals. Write down what they'll make of you. Write down what they'll make of you. What are you willing? Write down what, will you, what are you willing to give up today and for forever if you had to or until you get them. What are you willing to give up? And then last but not least, last but not least, what are you gonna to do today to make me go towards that? And then read them out loud. So I hope this helps you. If you've never written in a journal, it's a powerful thing. I wish you success, happiness, and great health today. Thanks guys for watching this.